And now Jerry and I, along with all of AWWA, would like to recognize the contributions of some of our best and brightest colleagues for their achievements in the field of water supply. I would like to invite the awardees to join us on stage. They will step forward individually when their award is announced. Plaques were presented earlier today, and they have, we have taken photographs of them with their plaques. Please give them a round of applause. The award for distinguished public service established in 1951 in honor of Harry E. Jordan, who served as secretary of the association from 1936 to 1959, is presented in recognition of service outside the line of duty by an AWWA member. AWWA would like to recognize Kenneth Burchard, retired director of facilities of Vista Irrigation District in Vista, California, for his significant organizational and leadership skills, which benefited the youth of San Diego County through his long volunteer involvement in the Boys and Girls Club, local little leagues, and the athletic program at Tri-City High School, along with his work with the Lions Club. Mr. Burchard cannot be with us today, but we thank him for his contributions. The Publications Awards honors the best paper printed in the journal AWWA between January and December, following review of the 2011 best papers. Today's award is accepted by Benjamin Stanford, lead author. Co-authors are Alexi Pizarinko, Shane Snyder, and Gilbert Gordon. Their winning paper, Perchlorate, Bromate, and Chlorate in Hyperchlorite Solutions, Guidelines for Utilities, was published in the June 2011 issue of the journal AWWA. Thank you, authors. The Public Communications Achievement Award is given to AWWA individual members or organizations who display excellence in the field while communicating information about water industry issues to the public. This year, we honor Illinois American Water Today's award is accepted by Karen Cotton and Carla Olson Teasley. Thank you, Karen and Carla. The key to AWWA's ability to meet its mission and goals is the strength of its membership. The Zeno A. Gorder Award goes to the individuals who recruit the most members in one year. We have two membership awards, one for a member and one for a section staff person. In 2011, Randy Lusk, volunteer from the Illinois section, recruited the most members. Thank you, Randy. And Clara Shea of the Atlantic Canada section recruited more new members than any other staff person. Thank you, Clara. Clara, fantastic. The Volunteer of the Year Award was established in 2010 to recognize and honor an individual AWWA member who has advanced AWWA through his or her volunteer time and efforts and has been a supporter to AWWA staff. AWWA would like to honor Dr. Joseph Jackangelo from MWH in Lovettsville, Virginia. Dr. Jackangelo has been a staunch job, supporter of the combined leadership well, efforts of AWWA staff and volunteers to elevate the association's technical programming, volunteer recognition, and publications. Under his guidance, the Technical and Educational Council grew to over 1,200 volunteers working in over 75 volunteer units. Thank you, Joe. Next, the award of merit is given to those outside the water community who have demonstrating outstanding service in support of the principles of AWWA. The award of merit goes to Leon McLaughlin of the Clean Water Foundation in Seattle, Washington. Mr. McLaughlin has been a passionate water advocate who has unselfishly committed his service and personal funds toward providing clean water to the people in Mexico, Japan, and Bolivia. Leon's story is truly unique and deserving of recognition by the American Water Works Association. Thank you, Leon. Yeah. 
The award for outstanding service to AWWA was established in 1925 in memory of John M. Devon and is presented annually to a member who has given exemplary service to the association. AWWA recognizes Robert Willis of the Pacific Northwest section for his dedicated service to the American Waterworks Association. Bob has served in many capacities in the 36 years that he's been active, including president of AWWA and chair of the Pacific Northwest section. He continues to provide leadership, direction, and sound fiscal management with integrity to the association. Thank you, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thanks for the job. Bob, thanks for everything. The Able Woman Award for Excellence recognizes those whose career in the waterworks industry exemplify vision, creativity, and excellent professional performance characteristic of Able Woman's long and productive career. This year's award goes to Dr. Mark Le Chevalier, Director of Innovation and Environmental Stewardship at American Water. Dr. Le Chevalier is an innovative scientist who has earned the highest honors in the water industry. He's a world-class researcher who is dedicated to advancing the science of water and a selfless mentor and leader whose commitment and passion inspires his peers. Thank you, Mark. The Research Award was established in 1967 in honor of Dr. A.P. Black and recognizes outstanding research contributions to water science and water supply practices over a considerable period of time. This year's award goes to Dr. Steve Rudy, Professor Emeritus at the University of Alberta. Dr. Rudy is an academic scientist and engineer with a passion and commitment for protecting public health by advancing the safe drinking water agenda through evidence-based decision-making, supported by solid research and practical application. Thank you, Steve. To all our award winners, your tireless dedication to AWWA and the water community is an inspiration to us all. Please give a huge Texas-sized round of applause to all of our distinguished awardees. <laughs>